listening to What Matters on Radio Castle Dermot with John Phelan. Good evening, everyone, and you're very welcome to another What Matters show here from Radio Castle Dermot. Tonight, I'm going to be joined, first of all, by Lily Whelan and then by Councillor Ivan Keatley. Uh, but just before we start, I just want to, on behalf of everyone here in Radio Castle Dermot, I just want to pass on our condolences to the O'Gorman family. O'Gorman Butchers are our main sponsor here at What Matters. And, and um, I just want to pass on our condolences on the passing of Jim. So to Angela, Paula, Avril, Niall, James and Greg, and all the extended family, just uh, may Jim uh, rest in peace. So uh, we'll, we'll move on, and um, I just want to welcome you, Lily, and thanks Thank for you. coming back in again to us. Yes. Um, Lily is here this evening, and she's going to talk about something very specific, and it's a new project that the History Group are taking on. And it, what they're doing is they're going to collect um, memorial cards and uh, create a book of the memorial cards. And so, um, Lily, maybe you just might explain, you know, exactly what you're planning on doing and where you got the idea from. Yeah. The, the idea uh, came uh, just after lockdown when we discovered that the, uh, the Don Cairn in Offaly Reaching Out Heritage Group uh, had done a book during lockdown. And what they had done was uh, use the opportunity to uh, get people to send them the memorial cards. And they got such a big response. Um, they, they got some thousands of cards in from, from around their area. Uh, and it seems such an, a lovely way to do it. I mean, we've looked, we're talking about doing graveyard surveys and, and, and other things around the parish, but this is unique and it's something that covers uh, people who are no longer or were buried outside the parish, uh, genealogy, uh, people who have left the parish. You know, um, the, it just is, there's so much information there and what's been happening, uh, uh, we would seem to hear is that as people are tidying up their places now after lockdown and all the, 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 the cleaning we did during lockdown, that people didn't know what to do with these cards. Some of them got thrown out and thrown away. Uh, and I think it's a shame to miss this opportunity to collect as much information about those that made this town for us uh, and, and moved on. And even if nothing else, when we look at memories cards, uh, which I found over the last couple of months when I've been talking about it, and somebody sees a memory card that brings a whole generation back to them, you know, they, the people they play, might have played with, gone to school with, uh, parents that they remember, the adults that kept them in, in order. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and all of those things. So uh, what is up here now is, is the, um, the, from the Duncairn book, uh, which they called In Love and Memory. And what they did was they uh, put, uh, um, they got all the memory cards and scanned them, and they organized them in alphabetical order. Um, so, um, uh, both initially by surname and then by first name. So there's not family groups or anything like that because I would be totally lost if I had to try and do yes, something yes, like that. Yes. But it allows people to say, you know, were they connected or weren't they? So it whole starts a whole new conversation. Uh, and it does as well, uh, covers the area. This particular page you see now, you're seeing uh, from different age, from modern, very modern, kind of within the last few years to um, to very older ones back into the 40s and 50s. Some people had photographs, some people didn't. It depended on whether they, they had. So there's a whole variety, but what was important that we, none of that mattered. It was just getting the memory of people and getting people to remind people that, uh, that you know, they are around, that, uh, it's just such a lovely thing to do. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. and I suppose um, it is a good idea to put it in mm -hmm. alphabetical mm -hmm. order for, yeah. Yeah. well, I suppose for a few reasons. Yeah. One yeah. is that if you specifically want to find somebody, you don't have to trawl through uh, pages yeah. and pages, you yeah. know, initially. Yeah. Um, so you can go and you can say, okay, I'm, I'm looking for Kassan mm -hmm. and I want to see if there's any relations of uh, Fuzzy in the book. Yeah. So, um, I, I can go and I can go as far as where the K's are. Um, 
Well, or likewise, mm. uh, if you come along and you find uh, the feelings and you can see if, uh, if there's many feelings and then you can wonder if such and such is related to such and such. So um, I suppose that, that's, that's a good idea. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you look at the, in the Duncairn book, which is sold out, there is no copies of it available. Uh, they have a whole section on the Hayes family, which is the Barack Obama group. So I'm sure that's got lots of conversations down there. Well, is that one related and is that one not and, and whatever else. Or the other challenge is that, uh, like myself, I'm Elizabeth Whelan, I have a first cousin, my grandmother, loads of live Elizabeth Whelan. So somebody's going to have to work out now exactly where they all fit in. Oh, that's it. And, and I'm sure there's many people out around that uh, will tell you the yeah. seed breeding generation as well. <laughs> Absolutely, but uh, yeah, no. Uh, uh, so uh, it, it, the other thing that they found, uh, which was very important, was people that were abroad. Um, that uh, it, it gave them an update. They might not necessarily get home. They they can go through it f uh, and see people from their childhood and say, "I didn't know. I didn't realize he passed." Or uh, you know, that's a lovely photograph of. Yes, is someone, yes, you know, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so it, it, uh, it's um, interesting enough people who said, you know, that they're all dead, leave them alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When they actually start, when you took out memory cards, they suddenly, it, it gave a whole new world. It yes, brought them back, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. if somebody wants to, I suppose we'll, we'll get this out of the way at, yeah. at an early stage in our conversation. If, if somebody wants to give you um, some memory cards, mm -hmm. uh, how did it go about it? Uh, the, the, the easiest way is to actually put them in an envelope and drop them into the community centre here, uh, Chalk Tiermida. Make sure, though, you put your name and address on it so we can actually give them back to you. Or you can actually scan them, particularly people that might be abroad or whatever and have ones. You can actually scan them and send them through to our uh, email, which is castledermothist, so castledermot with H-I-S-T, uh, at gmail.com. Uh, and we'll pick them up from there. But again, make sure you give us a name and, and things so we can um, keep an eye. And, and, make, and the important thing from our point of view is that we return them. They will be returned to whoever... Uh, Wh you know, whoever eventually. gives them. So you're not, you're not going to hold on to, no, the, to no, the originals. We, no. So if, if people are worried that they only have one uh, copy, they're not going to lose them. Absolutely. Um, I, know yeah. my, I know my mother at home mm -hmm. as well. She's... Mm -hmm. um, she has her, her own um, family, like yeah. my grandmother, my grandfather, yeah. Yeah. and um, just, just recently we've been working on um, my own father's one. Yeah. Yeah. But um, we've, she also has other ones from neighbours neighbors and friends, yeah. and she, she has actually a bag of memory cards which um, we spend time going through, but they're going back to my grandmother's time, all ones that she that she had. So oh, um, yeah. we said we'll we'll go through those and see, mm. you know, who is in it from Castle yeah. Dermot and what what we can give you on those as well. Uh, absolutely. Somebody actually uh, b brought up about copyright, and I think it's probably important. Uh, you know, is there a copyright on a memory card? And really, there isn't. The copyright is on the actual making of the card, so the printer. Uh, you know, that you don't use a photograph, say, that was done by a professional. You need a professional's permission to use that in the right, yes, yeah. Or um, there may be, if you're going to use a song, you know, they, I don't but there is copyright on them and you might want to use a verse or something. So that's done at that stage. Uh, right, so there's yeah. no actual copyright, so they don't have to worry. If, if, the, uh, if it's a recent death and they're a bit worried about it and they either, they don't have to give it in or they can uh, ask the relative and say, would, would I think it'd be lovely. Yeah, yeah, would you mind? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're, the, it's, um, it's up to people. We're not forcing anyone to hand up their, <laughs> their collection. But the, the big thing is, well, make sure they don't get thrown away. And, yes, and that's yeah, what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I suppose just mm -hmm. uh, looking mm -hmm. at a few different ones that you, you sent me a sample mm -hmm. of a few, yeah. Uh, like memory cards have changed so much over the years as well. Well, memory cards really came in from uh, uh, what they, they, they say from what used to be an invita invitation to a funeral card. But, and the Industrial Revolution and changes in the church when uh, um, you know, they, they, they started to try and standardize everything. That's when yeah. uh, the memory cards started to come in. So the church was saying what sort of prayers might be appropriate, what 
uh, indulges in, in and obviously changes in printing with the industrial revolution allowed them to actually print off printers then suddenly had a load of freedom so it was fairly standard to actually order a hundred right, memory cards right. uh, and, and, and uh, yeah and I suppose people can see there there on the screen at the minute is um, I think you told me this is your oldest memory card that you've yeah. gathered so far for um, an Anne Dempsey, yeah, uh, who died, I think, uh, 37 years at age, age 37, yeah. Uh, that's back in now. Uh, my eyesight won't. 1885. 1885. Yeah. Um, you know. So, so we've you have a memory card going back that far, and then up to mo up to modern day as up well. To modern days, yeah, uh, and a lot of them in between. The the. The very, you know, memory cards basically started in, say, like areas like the Netherlands and Germany and France. So you find a lot of the older cards. Uh, funnily enough, the, the one thing we've seen here is when the Nationalists was, came into being about 1880, they were very quick to start printing memory cards. Right. <laughs> uh, so it's lovely to see, but yes. uh, some of these, we've had them in New York, Italy, uh, in, in all sorts of places that they, they were actually printed in, which is fascinating to see. But the other thing is you can see, say, like Anne Dempsey, who's a, a relative of Michael's, and, you can, uh, uh, and his um, sister, you know, the name follows through down. Down, 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 down through, through the years, years. yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and yeah, and I suppose, like, we can see, it, we can mm -hmm. see on that mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. and I suppose it is because of the age of it mm -hmm. as well, like uh, photography wouldn't have been... Uh, common or even out back then so um, like there is there is no photograph on on that one no but now we see um there's some more gone up there where we have got the, yeah. they are older but we also have the the photographs then came in on them uh, and, and it may very well be that uh, that older the, uh, lady i think is a corcoran if i'm not mistaken she's a that's <laughs> right alice alice corcoran <laughs> um, yeah. alice corcoran uh, I mean, that is an old photograph, and it may very well be the only family photograph that exists, uh, you know, and there may be mem families of hers that have never actually seen that photograph. Yes, you yes. Know, um, yeah. And that may be that, that there's cards out there that might be the only one that a family might have, and, uh, or the family might not have any left. Yes, that's and, true. And it'd be true. nice to see a card, and then if it need be, they can come back to us to come the time, and we would contact the person who gave it to them and say the family are interested in. So, so we, we could do that come the time, if yes, that's yeah, yeah. Uh, what need. But actually, it's a lovely photograph, and, uh, but it's just... And back in those times, of course, it would be cut out and taped in, uh, where modern ones are all kind of... Uh, well, mo modern ones are all now digital, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean, we, yeah. we actually yeah, um, yeah. were commenting on that uh, yeah, yeah. as well, that the, you know, going back, and only until quite recently, yeah. um, the, the memory cards were stuck on photographs. And now, like, like we say, they're all digital. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, have you a time frame? We're Lily, able on this? to print them by the, the uh, do a book by the end of the year. Uh, so we will come back. We're going to next week. We have our meeting, uh, committee meeting, and we're going to a strategy and tie down some fine lines. But initially, just generally call out there. We're going to have to learn more about scanning ourselves and make sure we get the best quality and, and, and for books. But the quality of the card, you know, the, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's old, if, it's, if it might be torn on the edges or nothing like that. It's, it's the memory of the person that's there. And it actually, one of the things about Irish memory cards is they're actually very much about the person. You know, uh, and, and, and this is what's noted. The, the, what it initially was, was asking you to pray for that person's soul so that they would get out of purgatory, you know. So, yes, yes. so they would print up to 100 cards a go because there are more people that pray for you, the quicker you're going to get out. <laughs> right, yes, so yeah. the focus was actually on the afterlife and uh, rather than on uh, where in some of the Europeans ones it was about religion and, and, and things like that. But, it, you know, in a sense, more focused on a, where the Irish ones were very much focused on the person who died and trying to get them you know, into the into heaven in a sense. You know? Oh, very good, very yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, it, it, you know, they and as we've gone on, one of the other things they say about um, um, yeah, have have you, your dad's um, memory card there? Uh, it, it's it's colourful and it's very. The, one of the things they say about about Irish ones that they're very they're more positive. They're right. more about the people. They're about the colour and in actual fact. 
uh, that is the most common picture. Uh, the Blessed Virgin is the most common picture uh, on, po on memory uh, cards. On memory cards. Followed right. by the Blessed Heart. Yeah, uh, but the, uh, where the European ones apparently tend to be a bit duller. That, that we have, uh, we, we seem to have focused on the person that this is about. Right, which is, right. Which yes, is good yeah. to see. You know. Yeah, well, I know, um, mm -hmm. like I, I was saying to you, like mm -hmm. we've, um, we actually haven't even received mm -hmm. Daddy's ones yet. Yeah. They're, uh, they're in, at printed at this, <laughs> yeah, at this yeah, stage. Yeah. But um, when, we were, when we were going through them, and of course, you look online now, like yeah. um, previously, uh, as soon as somebody died, the envelope started coming through yeah. the door, and mm -hmm. yeah. they kept coming probably for a week or two mm -hmm. weeks after mm -hmm. someone died. Now, now you go online, and uh, you you mm. do you do your own research mm -hmm. and and that, but the amount of the the pictures with the Virgin Mary on, yeah. um, you know, is is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so you know, I, I can I can see where where you're coming from there. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So I suppose, Lily, the uh, the book you're going to have out hopefully by by the end of the year people yeah. can continue sending in absolutely and know. we'll be reminding people over time to yeah. uh, as we get closer to the dates and we give the the cut off dates and things but then the be and we will do some sessions uh, maybe here after mass on a, on a Sunday morning or for mass you dro if you don't want them to disappear drop them into us and we'll have them scanned by the time you come out of mass or something like that we'll be working on trying to get us and uh, make a disease as possible for people yes, to actually yeah, to, yeah, to do yeah, it. Or you, yeah, like that you mm -hmm. could do like after mass on a yeah. Saturday evening or yeah. on a Sunday, like a, a drop in scan mm -hmm. and go. Absolutely, yeah, exactly, yeah. you know. Yeah, nearly like a drive through But you see what we can do, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, no, that, that would be, uh, you know, so as much as possible. Um, because they are going a little bit out of fashion, you know. Yeah. Um, and yeah. and not as many people get them now because quite often they're actually given, uh, be it at the crematorium or at, at the church. Uh, you know, and then no more seems to happen after that. So yes. Um, so yeah. So it might remind people that actually it's a lovely thing, and it's um, you know I don't know if you remember your grandmother had a, had a mass missile going to mass. She did. And yes. And she had loads of memory cards in them because in that's when they used to say the prayers for the indulgence for that individual. So the more of them were out there, and I'm presuming the mass was in Latin. The, well, it was probably easier to read all. The <laughs> yeah, it's easier to read them than the, yeah. than the, the mass yeah. missile, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, that is yeah. true. Yeah. Um, and I suppose, Lily, if you want to, uh, I'll just hold mm. up the the sample yeah. of, um, of of the book here, and um, so so that's. Um, the 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 Dunkern the, the Dunkern uh, yep. book, mm -hmm. so um, it is you know quite a a substantial book. So yep. there's room for a lot of memory cards in it. So I presume you're not going to have a a limit on the amount that, no. that you're going to no, take. No, absolutely not. Because the other thing that's happening is that we're getting the same card in from a number of people. You yes. Know? Um, uh, and. Uh, you know, so which is great. I mean, but that's you know, so there's a bit of overlap there. But also, we're getting memory cards in of, say, for example, Kevin Barry who rang O'Neill's, and then Mr. Dwan who took over from him. His memory card is in there too. So there's a kind of little family history of uh, or a building history. A building history, yes, <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. So uh, there's, there's a lot of fascinating stuff, and much more than I, I actually envisage when we set out in this project. Uh, that's brilliant. Mm, yeah, I'm yeah. really looking forward yeah. to uh, to seeing the the final copy and the, and and the final okay. result. And again, thanks a million for coming in. Um, and thank you for having us and, uh, and spend, uh, spreading the word. Yeah, <laughs> and we will put up um, your email address. We'll put yeah. up on our on our Facebook mm -hmm. page. Thank you. And um, but it is uh, Castle Dermot, H I S T. Sorry, at, all one word at, at, at gmail.com. Gmail yeah. So, and mm -hmm. um, so then I suppose. Before I let you go, have mm. you a plan for the last Wednesday of this month? What, yes. What your, what your um, talk is going to be the about? The talk on the, this month is the Welsh Normans that came to uh, Athai and, and this area. So um, basically, um, um, Colm, no, yeah, uh, I've forgotten his surname. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but uh, he, he's a, a local historian from Athai, and um, he is coming to talk about it. And it's very, I heard him uh, um, in, uh, speak in Athai, and he talks about Kilkee 
uh, Dunmanog, um, Castle Dermot itself, because they're all part of that hinterland uh, and the Normans and what they're dressed like. So he's, it's about the Norman invasion, but focused in South Kildare. Right, yes. Uh, from yeah. from Athai and yeah. their area around. Absolutely a massive amount of knowledge and a very knowledgeable. Um, and he's going to kill me now. Roach, Tim Roach. Well done, Lily, well done. <laughs> uh, and, and, and I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, he's a fascinating speaker. That's great, yeah, that's great. Yeah, and that's yeah. on the last Wednesday yeah, the of the, the month, which is yeah, the 22nd yeah, yeah. of February at 8 o'clock here yeah. in Chalkdale. And that is obviously uh, Ash Wednesday, so if there's probably an evening Mass, so if you want to pop in after Mass and hear a lovely, uh, great talk, more than welcome. That's great. And there's always an, a lovely cup of tea after oh, the talk as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks, right, a, thanks a million, Lily.